Hey there, Ryan Flexfire LEDs here to talk to you about IC chips and flexible strip LEDs. So what we have going here are WS2801 strips. I'm going to start by talking about the power that's used. So this is the power supply we're using. When we bought it, it came with a normal US plug. And it has three wires coming out. You got the ground, which is the green, and you have the line and, and uh, common. So three wires, and then this type of power supply. Before doing we're doing any work with the power supply, make sure it's unplugged. Make sure there's no power to it. Uh, and grounding is extremely important with an aluminum power supply if the uh, common uh, goes bad. So it, there, there'll be a route to ground that's not through you. There's also uh, your your five volts out. So this is a five volt system. So this power supply is a 60 amp uh, five volt system. Now what we have going here for the wiring, and the reason we're doing this video is because there's no real good video out there that talks about the particulars of the wiring. So I want to make sure that we can get nitty gritty into it for you and really show you where, what goes where. So this is the controller that, that uh, you put your SD card into it has the programs for the lights. You have 5 volts, it says 5V on the box, maybe, there we go. You can see it there. Then we have ground, that relates to these here. So ground goes to the V minus on the power supply. And the 5 volts, you can see it, goes, we have it as a black wire here, goes to the V plus. And there's another wire coming off the V plus that's going to power the strip. So that wire comes down and plugs into where on the strips it says 5 volts. Now on different strips it might say different things, but on this particular strip you can see it says 5 volts. And then below it you see the CO, DO, and ground. This is a 2801 strip, so the it's it's clock out, data out, and ground, and then obviously five volts. On the other side of that, you'll see it says five volts, CI, DI, and ground. That's clock in, data in, and ground. So the clock is, is the timing, the data is telling you what to do, and then you know voltage and ground for the power portion of it. It's very important that the, the flow of electricity is going in the right direction. They even put an arrow on this particular strip to make sure you go the right direction. You can, you can do some damage to them and fry the chips if you go the wrong direction. So be very cognizant of that when you're wiring them up, especially if you're doing segments like we have here in this panel. Now the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we have down below, we have the ground. Well, ground goes to ground on the strip. DAT goes to DI, which is data in, and then clock goes to CI, which is clock in. And that's pretty much the nitty gritty of it. Now you'll see I have an extra wire here, and you're like, oh, what's that for? Well, this extra wire, what we do is we jump it. Let me set this camera back up here. We jump it from, from uh, the very end of the strip, because we end up with a little bit of voltage drop. And what happens is, you'll see that the you're not getting blues down here, we're not getting greens. The reds are coming through, but the blues and greens are kind of diminished. So from the ground, we're just going to take this little wire, and you'd actually wire it in properly. I did this for demonstration purposes. You take the wire, and we're actually going to touch it to ground, and you'll see a big difference. And that's it. So there's no need to wire a bunch of wires in. Touch it to ground. And now we got the blues and we have a really nice array set up. Now, we'll get into the programming and whatnot. We're using, uh, this is LED Edit 2013. Now the computer right now is not running the lights. I just left it up so you can see kind of what the program looks like. There's actually an SD card that plugs in to the controller. So you program it on the computer, 
you unplug it, plug it into the controller, and then you can scroll through modes and options. You can control speed and then set leaves the last pro tell basically tells the controller what program to run when you turn the when they turn the unit back on. That's it for now. Thanks, bye bye.